All right, guys, we're gonna start off by chopping up the vegetables and we're gonna remove the stem off of this kale because that stuff is tough, you know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna remove that and then we're gonna chop up the kale into small pieces. And I actually wanted to massage it to uh, soften up those leaves. And you can add some oil, mm -hmm, that might make it a little bit, I don't know, easier to massage, but I didn't because I wanted to keep it oil free. So yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put that into a bowl and then we're gonna chop up some celery as well. And of course you can always use whatever veggies you prefer. These are just the vegetables that I used. And we're also going to use some broccoli. Now with the broccoli, I actually like to eat the stem part because apparently that stuff is good for you, you know? So we're just gonna chop it up into small pieces to make it easier to eat because broccoli is very, um, I don't know, tough to chew, you know? So. The best thing for me is to chop it up into small, small, small pieces, okay? And I'm just gonna use a big salad bowl for this. And of course, I'm gonna add some spinach because spinach helps you grow. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, guys, okay? We're also adding some of these sprouts. What are these called? Are these called alfalfa sprouts? I don't know, but these sprouts, these sprouts just make salads so much more delicious. And I'm adding some kidney beans because I already have kidney beans available and I'm also adding some edamame beans Now if you guys have never had these <gasps> Seriously, you have not been living you need to you just need to get yourself some edamame beans in your life because they're so they're so yummy Now we're gonna make the dressing in a small bowl. I'm adding half a cup of water and a quarter cup of nutritional yeast or more because nooch is delicious and we're also adding a tablespoon of garlic powder and two tablespoons of Dijon mustard mm -hmm. by the way you can of course customize this however way you want we're adding one tablespoon of soy sauce and this is the magic ingredient we're adding a third cup of tahini tahini is like sesame paste and it makes things creamy and delicious and yeah it's like it's 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 awesome okay and we're just gonna mix it together and um, yeah, give it a little taste, you know? And of course I decided to add some more nooch because like I always say, nooch is life and I swear it thickens up the dressing, so yeah. And of course, if you like things a little sweeter, you can add some maple syrup or something. And I also added a little bit of apple cider vinegar, which I forgot to show here. So you can add some of that if you prefer. But yeah, I mean, it's all up to you guys. And then you're just gonna mix it together and it creates a delicious and very, very healthy salad that doesn't suck. So for the second salad that doesn't suck, I am using some tofu. So we're using extra firm tofu here today, which is what I would recommend if you don't like the kind of mushiness of tofu. But yeah, you know, whatever. You can use whatever type of tofu you want. And I'm just going to chop them into kind of flat squares. And um, if you are anything like me, you can chop them very unevenly. Yeah, and we're gonna actually bake them, okay? So you can bake them, you can fry them, you can do whatever you want. I am taking a baking sheet, lining some parchment, paper and I am just going to place the tofu pieces on top and I'm going to bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes and halfway through I'm going to flip them so that they are even on both sides you know So make sure you put a timer on that shit and then we are going to start chopping the veggies. So I am using cucumber for this. Cucumber works great with this recipe. So I do recommend cucumber, but once again, if you don't like it, don't add it, it's okay. And I'm also adding some broccoli as always. I feel like broccoli is just great. Just It's just great, okay? And um, it, it's like really tough to chew, which slows down my eating because I eat really fast. But when it comes to like eating salads, and like tough vegetables, it slows down my eating, which is a great thing. And I'm also
also adding celery once again. Can you guess what was in my fridge? Mm -hmm. And of course, some spinach. In the words of Chandler Bing, can I be more predictable? And this time, I'm actually just tossing it with my hands because I just got lazy, okay? And here are the ingredients for the dressing. I'm using gochujang, which is red pepper paste. And it is the sexy red paste. Oh god, could not get enough of that. I'm also using maple syrup. You can use whatever sweetener of your choice. I'm also using apple cider vinegar. Normally, you would use rice vinegar, but I just had apple cider vinegar and that was fine. And this is sesame oil uh, and uh, soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Korean soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And I'm also using garlic powder. Once again, you can use fresh garlic, but homegirl is too lazy. So we're adding two tablespoons of the gochujang and it's gonna be a little bit tough to get it out of the spoon. So feel free to dig in there with your fingers. Clean fingers, highly recommended. Uh, we're also adding one tablespoon of the soy sauce and two tablespoons of the rice vinegar or the apple cider vinegar. We're adding one tablespoon of maple syrup and about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of the sesame oil and then the garlic powder, one tablespoon or something like that. Mix it well together. Now later on I did add a little bit of water into this mixture which um, helped a lot so yeah maybe like one tablespoon of water or maybe two tablespoons whatever if you like it more liquidy then add more water. And of course, give it a taste. See how you feel. What are you feeling? Do you want it more sweet? Do you want it more salty? Whatever. Just see how you feel, okay? And it should turn into this really delicious concoction. And I'm adding some toasted sesame seeds in there as well. Totally optional, but mm, highly recommended. <laughs> So your tofu should be done by now and hopefully you didn't screw it up and it should look like this kind of nice golden color and it should be nice and firm. I did add a little salt on top, totally optional, and it should be like, yeah, delicious looking. And of course, I'm adding, I think a cup of kidney beans in there. This was for two people. So yeah, I just add kidney beans because they really help keep me satiated, any type of bean really. So I like to add beans into like everything. And I'm adding basically half of the tofu that I made into that mixture. So to start, I'm just adding some of the dressing and tossing it and just giving it a taste and seeing how I feel. So I would suggest you doing the same thing. I know that everyone has a different tolerance for spice. So totally just add a little at a time and just, yeah, give it a taste. I ended up using the entire thing of dressing that I made. So I would say the recipe is good for about two to three servings of dressing but of course again depends on your own tastes and like I said I ended up adding some water into the dressing so totally up to you so someone commented on my last video saying that there's something weirdly satisfying about watching food being prepared in fast-forward motion and I totally agree I don't know what it is but there's something very satisfying about it anyways that is the end of this salad super delicious you can actually eat this with rice as well or eat it on its own i put some more sesame seeds on top because mm -hmm, it's so good and that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video once again make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did let me know what you guys think if you do make these tag me on instagram i want to see your creations thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye